What up y'all? We out here today at a different pond. It's my second pond. It's a very deep pond. And as far as I know, it only has little tiny bass and brim out here. So what we're gonna do is, I've taken these spin cast reels that I have that I normally have corks and hooks tied on. And I tied some micro lures. This is a little beetle spin. So uh, yeah, we're gonna cast these little micro lures out here. And see what we can catch. Also have a little jerk bait. A little mini crankbait. My spinning combo with a tiny little wacky worm on it. And last but not least, if all else fails, we got the cork and the hook with the split shot. And we'll toss that out there, see if we can get a brim or whatever to bite it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna get into. Y'all stay tuned. All right, what are we gonna throw first? Uh, let's throw this little crankbait. I just got that not long ago, I really wanna toss it. Man, it's been a while since I used a spin cast. Look, there's a little bass right there. Well, that didn't work. All right, try it again. Here we go. Got one. <laughs> Man, these little dudes are aggressive out here. You gotta be careful because you'll get a hook in the hand with these little guys. That's for sure. So this is actually extra small for out here. There's some a little bit bigger than this. Not much though. For the most part, they're all this size. Yeah, toss him back. I've also taken five or six maybe about a pound out of my other pond and threw them over here because I feel like my other pond is a little overpopulated with one pound around a pound bass and uh, this one's the opposite it has a bunch of little tiny look oh man got another one oh he spit it oh got another one <laughs> there's a whole bunch of them right there man See, you'll get a hook in the hand with these fellas. Oh. He's uh, <laughs> almost exactly the same size. Like I said, he might even be a little smaller. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a bunch of them schooled up right here. Oh. Oh. They're hitting it. They're hitting it. This little mini one doesn't have the sharpest hooks in the world, but. Oh, got one. Got another one. He's a little bigger. <laughs> they put up a crazy fight on the spin cast, man. All right, buddy. Relax. Please don't hook me. Yeah, these little dudes are aggressive. I don't know if they have a lot to eat out here. Oh, look at him. He wants to stay still. See, they're all about this size. I don't know how many there. This one's actually a little bigger than those other two, but I, I don't know how many of them there is out here. But it seems that there's a ton and they're all that size, so I don't know if they're stunted. I don't know if there's nothing for them to eat. I mean, there should be. There's brim. There was brim. I don't know what the deal is, but the bass just don't seem to grow much bigger than that. All right, so... We'll give the little crankbait an A+. Plus. Caught, what, three on it? So we know it works. So what we're going to do is take that one out of rotation. We're going to take these other lures and we're going to walk around. And see what we can catch. Let's try this. The one that I see there looks a little bit bigger. Like maybe he could bite this, so let's see. Well, that's not gonna do. We're gonna have to cast it out and reel it back in, I guess. Just jigging it up and down. Oh, he got it, he took it. <laughs> I 
you see uh i'm not sure what size wacky hook and i just bit the tip off of a trick worm and threw it on there that's what we got see what i'm saying all this size tons of them in here anybody has any ideas on how to grow them or if i should take them out or what the deal is see if we can get another one on this just jigging it up and down oh he's looking at it oh he ate it got him ah oh, he spit it oh i just had a bite and i was talking and i did not set the hook well oh there it goes got him <laughs> he's even smaller i don't know how he bit that you thought you had a dragonfly tell me i'd like to know your thoughts buddy just another little tiny dude this one's probably the smallest one we caught today probably about the size of the first one i mean look tiny we're gonna toss him back let him do his thing see you buddy appreciate the bite All in this cover, they're chilling. I see them. So, we're gonna take this. We're gonna throw it out here between these logs. Oh, there we go. That was quick. And he knocked it off. I'm gonna have to go get another piece. There we go another little tiny aggressive dude I'm gonna send him back out well we had an overheat so what we're gonna do is stroll on over here to the shade and throw in this little corner so we're over here in this shady corner now the water's not really shady but we're gonna see if we can't get him to bite this jerk bait oh look at that immediately see if we can keep him on there got him just a little tiny guy i mean the smallest of the day for sure all right look at him yeah he ate that thing like he was a monster we appreciate that bite buddy see that guy there is a little bigger we gotta toss this at him because he's that might be one of the ones I brought from the other pond. He's a bit bigger than the, these other ones we're seeing. Nope. He ate it. I don't think that's him, though. He was bigger than this one. But we'll take all the bites. Yes, we will. A micro fish is still a fish. I don't discriminate. There's so many of them. You never tell if you're catching the same one twice. I mean, I doubt it. Normally, they're a little smarter than that, but you never know. Nope. <laughs> Just like that. Possibly this guy's smaller than the last one. I keep saying that, but I'm not really sure they're all so tiny. See, he's like the size of my hand. All right, man. Go back. <laughs> let's go a little further and let it sink and as far as i know there's nothing left but bass and maybe some brim um, i used to come out here late at night with uh this rig that i had with a circle hook and a cork a bobber whatever you want to call it and we'll try to catch catfish see if there's any left and i couldn't and then one night we were out getting some frogs like my buddy over here that you hear and uh we saw that huge 10 pound flathead sleeping right here in the dirt right by the bank yeah grabbed him out of the water because he obviously wasn't supposed to be in this pond and oh there we go we got one. Oh, it's a brim a big one nice well, that answers that question. There's brim still out here. I want to say that he is 100% bluegill. 
but he's so dark i really don't know but he would make a nice fillet yeah i think he's purebred bluegill so that's good see you buddy he's a decent size too something hit it i can't see at all right here it's so dirty we had a bite though There we go. We got us a bigger bass. All right, my friend. Take a break. I'd say he's the biggest one we've caught today. Maybe. I always say that, huh? So I'm thinking my best bet would be to buy some really tiny minnows. Throw them out here. Maybe these fish could grow. I appreciate the bite, buddy. Alright, let's uh throw the one we have not thrown today. This is just a little beetle spin. This is probably my favorite spin cast rod that I have. It's called a Zebco Dura Action Rod and a Synergy TI10 Titanium Reel. Don't know where it came from, but it's been around for a lot of years and it reels smooth. And it casts like a beast. Ain't nothing like going back to the basics with the old school classic Zebco spin cast. Let that sink and then we'll reel it on back. Oh, we have one try. Oh, got him. Uh oh. I don't know what that was. Started reeling backwards. I thought the anti reverse was on, but I guess it's not. Either that or it don't work. I was just bragging on the rod or the reel, and then that happened. So don't brag on your equipment. That's when it stops working. It's another little tiny dude. You see here where a turtle or something tried to eat him for breakfast. See ya, buddy. If you're ever fishing with kids, you don't know what's in the pond. Whatever the case, toss a beetle spin with something really small on it like this. I guess this is supposed to be like a little grub or something, little little wax worm. And if there's a fish in there, you're gonna catch it. The kids are gonna catch fish. Everybody's gonna have a good time. Beetle spin's a classic. Toss a beetle spin in the winter. I guarantee you can catch tons of fish. Got a brim. See his big red belly. Oh, he's big. He's a big boy. This is an absolute dinner plate of a fish right here. I'd love to have him on my dinner plate. I'll tell you what. He's beautiful. Look at the colors on him. I guess he's bluegill. Purebred. All right. Let's give him a toss back. We want him to spawn for sure. He's got good genetics. I'm half tempted to keep him and eat him. But we gonna let him go. Live another day and breed us some more just like him. We appreciate that bite. My anti-reverse is on. I don't know how that happened earlier, but. I do know back when I was a kid, we had channel cat that we would feed bread and they would come up and those pretty big ones. And I heard tell from my family that there was crappy out here. Pretty big ones. So, oh, what we got? Little bass. Dang, he's crazy. He's got it in him, he's feisty. Wow, totally unnecessary. But I respect it, I'd do the same thing. Somebody had me hooked, another little little tiny guy we appreciate the bite buddy well thinking this beetle spin might be might be the juice out here today 
Seems to be all the brim out in this corner. Oh. I think we got something. Swimming quick. Oh yeah, another brim. <laughs> right when I said there's a brim in that corner. I guess we're getting dialed in here. This dude absolutely choked this thing. There we go. We got you, buddy. We ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. Beautiful colors, purple looking. Yeah, this one's a little bit smaller guy. The other one was a slab, but... Yeah. Haven't caught a bunch of those in a long time. That's always fun. See if we can catch some more of those. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, the water is really dirty, but I see some, you know, brighter looking spots. Probably a little crater, little bluegill beds and i was probably swimming this thing right oh oh he's bigger oh yeah for sure he's definitely the biggest of the day oh yeah that might even be one i brought from the other pond oh yeah he's definitely the big big fish in this pond oh yeah he's for sure without a doubt the biggest of the day for real this time i know i say it every time i catch one that looks a little bigger but He's got him a big scar here behind his fin. I think he's from the other pond. I think he's one of the ones I brought out. There's another one there that's a little bigger. We'll see you, buddy. That felt like an absolute monster on this little setup, though. On this little spin cast setup here. Felt like a like a 10-pounder. If we hook anything over 2 pounds on this, I'm not sure if we'll get it in. If I'm being honest, I didn't even plan to catch one that big today. Oh, we had another bite. Got him. Another bluegill. I was uh, sort of behind the big camera when I caught him. Yeah, they're definitely spawning over there in that corner or something because they're all over the place. Should have brought my pliers. There we go. Little tiny mouth having guys. There he is. He's not a big fella, but nice colors. He has less of the purple. Give them a toss back over where they're at. See ya, buddy. All right, we're gonna go back with this. Oh, there's something right there. Oh, got him. <laughs> Watched him eat it. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. just oh why you gotta be like that just chill it's just a little guy another little guy <laughs> but they're so fun to catch to me the size of the fish is the least important when you're fishing in a pond just every bite is so fun Especially like that when you can just watch him eat it and you know, oh, he's got it. Time to set that hook. We're going to switch it up back to the little. Uh, let's do the micro jerk bait. We haven't caught anything on this yet, I don't think. Come on, we need at least one fish to complete all the lures I brought. Oh, he, ah, he hit it, he missed. We didn't drive no hooks in him. That little dude keeps hitting it, but he just can't. He ain't hitting the hooks. Oh, look. <laughs> I just can't drive them hooks in him. Oh, got one. Oh, he spit it. Oh, we had him. No. Need some sharper hooks on this thing, man. Oh, got him. Finally. <laughs> oh, and I had the big camera turned the other way. Just a little itty bitty guy. Itty bitty. I mean, he's hand sized. But that's all the lures that I brought. Well, that's it, y'all. It's getting to the hottest part of the day. The bite's dying down, but we had a great time using spin casts. 
uh, throwing micro lures, catching all kinds of fish, different species. It was a great time. Nothing like going back to your roots and throwing a spin cast. But uh, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hopefully more content from this pond coming. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one.